Well, welcome back to base camp, WNC. We're back here at this off-grid solar well pumping job, and the rain has subsided after a couple weeks, so been busy trenching. It's something close to 2,800, 3,000 plus feet of trench. Um, this line here, if I can get my finger in the picture, goes up, curves the wood, ends up. He's got some future vacation rental cabins he wants to put up there and some campsites. And uh, this thing, this whole premise of this whole thing was for livestock irrigation on little sections of pasture. But let's see, this fence right here, there's the irrigation line running all the way down. And there's these irrigation connections every 80 feet down there. And then this is more or less the main line. It comes down here and then right in front of the pump house. We have two main valves. This one here takes care of the, everything on the uphill side. This one here takes everything down the downhill side. And as I showed before, this whole thing, let me sneak inside the building here with you. Here's the inside of the building. There, right down here is this 12 volt, six gallon per minute pump. Pumps up to 90 pounds of pressure. We're gonna see how this thing works on this entire system. The owner spec this thing out, so we're gonna find out just how much it really works. And we'll take you out here and show you some other things. Just as a little side trip, the owner's going to put some fence around this little square right here where his 1100 gallon tank is. You can see the depression in the top. The goats have decided to make this a solar heated water bed for them. And they all try to climb up on that thing and sleep. Um, so I guess a fence is going to be needed. Probably not, nothing more irritating than a goat. So let's go back on the tour. Well, this is the first weep. This whole thing was done through NRCS, which is the Natural Resource Conservation Service. And what they've done is they pay people to fence off the weeps and they paid to have a well drilled in this pump and fencing and all the water lines, they pay a good bit of it. And this is so the goats don't get in here and poop in the wetland. So this is where your tax dollars go. So this is the next line on the other side of the weep going up. And you can see that what's left of them black boxes haven't been buried yet. About every feet, 80 feet or so going all the way up, all the way up, all the way over to this corner, then back down part of the field. And that's once again for irrigation hookups. Because when he pastures all this thing off in little segments, um, there'll be dry pastures, so he'll need to get water to them. That's the whole reason for this whole thing. Well, this is the third line. And you can see the black boxes again. And this is the weep down here. But what his plan is here, this segment's about an acre of land between the two fences. And he wants a market gardener to come in here and farm this little place. But once again, there's a line going up. Line goes across, goes underneath the weep, and goes up that last fence line. As you can see right here, once again, there's about every 80 feet they're going up, all the way up to the end. And then he's got a line going up here, which will end up going up to the barn to a rainwater tank if they ever need to get water up that way or bring water down. And we'll get over here and I'll show you one of these little hookups uh, if you're interested in these things. Well, here it is. This is just sitting on top of the ground right now, but basically you'll have your water line. It'll be in your line. And this is these little things, this little water valve connection. And then you end up with a piece of pipe like this with a hook on it. While it's sitting in the ground, you have the cap on it. When you get ready to use it, you reach down, open the cap up, stick his pipe down in there, and it just goes down and latches. And then you see on the top there, pipe thread on top, 
In this instance, it'll come up about another foot up out of the ground and just have a hose bib on it. And then that hose will run out to the water trough to a float valve and keep the waters, keep all the goats and animals watered as he moves them up and down with these net fences. I'll go ahead and stick one of these last ones in the ground and I'll kind of show you a picture of what it's going to look like down in the ground. And these things, about $10 a piece. They're like, he said, six, seven dollars for the bottom end, and it's like four dollars for the top end. So, of course, you need the bottom ends no matter where you need them, and the top ends you don't need but three or four of them just to hook up to the hoses. So, we'll get this thing all hooked up and done, I'll show you, but let me get these in the ground and I'll show you one down in the ground. Well, here we are. I don't know how well you can see it. There's the very top of the water valve. And what we've done is cut pieces of six inch PVC pipe with a notch that'll straddle over the line and uh, we'll tap that down so the top of the water pipe will be right here then we'll set the valve body on top and I'll come back and show you a picture of that here we are we tap that piece down around it so we can get to it and then we'll put the plastic valve body top on it then hopefully this cat will sit here close to the grass so it doesn't get lost in the weeds but doesn't sit above it and get mowed over. Like I said, when they need it, they'll take this apart, reach down, open up the valve, stick the plunger cap in here, it'll come up, it'll have a hose bib on it, and they'll be able to hook the water hose up to the livestock troughs. And we'll see some more of these things. Well, there it is, backfilled around a little bit. Hopefully just a little bit higher than the dirt. Maybe when the grass grows up, it won't be too high if somebody comes by with a bush hog and mows. We've tried to stick most of these right in front of or right close by a fence post with the idea, maybe take paint this back side of the fence post white, put a big WP on it for a water point. So one, they can find them in the future and when the grass grows up, and two, when they're mowing, when they see that white fence post come up, they'll know to raise the mower up a little bit, keep from kind of whacking and hitting it. But as usual, I sure appreciate you watching. We're gonna zoom in here on the very end on the goat lounging facility. Like I said, they've, they've got themselves a water bed right there. We never really had goats. We always had dairy cows, which are destructive just by the mass size, but goats seem to bite, chew, climb on everything. But as usual, if you like it, subscribe, tell your friends about it. We're gaining. I'd like to thank everybody who subscribed lately. Uh, maybe one day I'll be able to figure out how to email a thank you to you. I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet. So I'm working on that. But everybody's new subscriptions greatly appreciated. Two weeks from now, we'll be at Life Skills in Waynesville for three days for classes. Uh, you can look it up on the web. Um, Life Skills, I think this is the seventh year of it. It's a three-day event, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, have to look it up. There's 40, 50 different classes. Come see me. I'll be there teaching three classes and um, have a booth set up whole bunch of water pumping stuff I'll make a video while we're there so like subscribe tell your friends about it and thank you for watching bye